Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. I'm Roxanne. Thank you so much for joining me here. So today, um, okay, so today, <sighs> okay, so, um, as you guys know in my last video, I was showing you that I got laid off. Um, so today is like my first day of, you know, actual being laid off. So, um, I wasn't able to get in front of the camera and even today it was a bit of a struggle. Um, I also had a laser treatment on Thursday and he did burn me. I don't know if you guys can actually see that. It's right here. His like burnt to the point that it actually blistered and then ruptured. So I wasn't too sure if I could um, do an actual look until it kind of healed up a bit. It's, it's not bad. It's not great, but it's not bad. Um, so yeah. I had to kind of watch that and see how that went before I hopped onto the camera, so I apologize now. Um, as you guys can see, I've done most of my makeup already. And then I thought I'd do swatches of the palette that I have here for you. And you would not believe the mess I have made. With this. So I'm just gonna kinda, I wanna see where my crease is. I wanna remember where my crease is. So when I'm doing this look. Um, so there is, and I'm gonna pop up a picture too. So there is, is, it is officially all over my hands. I have no idea how I'm gonna get this off my face tonight. And I'm really just hoping that no matter what, it doesn't like get into one of my, doesn't get into <laughs> that little, you know, it's not open. It's not an open sore. It is closed, but you know, still. Um, yeah, so. Just putting on some eye primer because that is something I didn't do. So today we are playing with a new brand to me. And I did swatch one of the other mini ones I had. I just wanted to see what color it was. Um, tomorrow, no, um, Wednesday, I will be drawing a name for the, um, draw for, uh, the Jeffree Star item stuff, so, uh, after this video, if you want to go give that a watch, um, I do have a couple, of, uh, a couple other videos that are a couple other giveaways that I am still working on, it's just, it's, it's been a long week. Okay, so, I actually got this palette here. I'm going to open it up in just a second. Okay, so I did purchase this from a friend who bought it brand new. She did get one of the shadows smashed. And so she said, like, it's a good deal, like, snap on it. Um, so that's what I did. And then she said she was getting a placement. And I said, just, you know, don't, don't rush it out. Just hang on to it for right now. So she did. Um, so then she sent it to me. So when I got it, I opened it up and she had it very well wrapped. So this color here was shattered, just shattered. So I've tried to repress it. I'm going to try to get you. So as you can see here, you can also see there's a grease stain now. They did say that it is a pigment or um, the grease stain is one of the oils that has come loose while shipping and that um, and it did leak. There's actually two grease stains. One you can definitely see. So this, I washed up like this. She said that she got the replacement and she put it in this one. She did wrap it up in bubble wrap. It was really well wrapped and then she shipped it to me. I do realize that any postal carrier can be really rough with your packages, but the odds of just this one palette break, or one pan breaking, not once but twice, makes me think that this is very unstable. Um, I did look up the price of this, and this was forty dollars American, so that's like f almost sixty dollars Canadian. That's just crazy for one pan. Like it's just. And then they didn't even replace the whole thing. They just sent out one pan, which was fine. That's that's great and all, but it just seems a little silly that they blamed it 
completely on the shipping process when they should know it was likely either this is a de defective palette or there's something wrong with that that definitely that one shade at least um the other ones i'm not sure about um i did give them a swatch as you can see now the ones that are sparkly are super sparkly okay so the yellow one is right here um i'm not gonna like see and like it's all over my hands and i didn't even so i'm not even going to swatch those again they are super pretty i'm not gonna lie but that pink one was the one i wanted to try and it's right here so i think i'm actually gonna maybe just go with a green look um the names are super cute um but the beach please is is a little bit hard you can see that the oils have separated so it's hard to see well it does go on pretty good so maybe it's a good thing that the oils dissipated i don't know I don't know guys I'm a little disappointed so um, just stay tuned to the end of the video we're gonna put this on and we're gonna see um, how well it works as an actual eyeshadow and then I'm gonna show you the other palettes I got which one I'm super excited about and you guys can decide which one I should do t tomorrow um, I'm looking to get back into doing this stuff tomorrow. So I did have to go and clean up the whole palette because um, that pink shade just got into all of the palettes. And I thought it was really cool. I thought they all had a little sparkle. And then I realized that they don't all have a sparkle. They all have... I washed up like this all over the palette. So... So I'm going to go in with this You Mermaid My Day. So let's get to it. I know I'm probably like 10 minutes into this, but you guys haven't seen me in a week so or so. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if, while you are watching it, if you want to leave me a comment below, if you tried this brand, I thought I had one. But I'm not 100% sure if it was Clarity or if it was Carity. I think it was Carity. And this is Clarity. Um, so I worked six nights in a row. And yesterday I did have off. But I mean, I did not move from my couch. I was like... Mm -hmm. I have applied for a half dozen other jobs. I haven't heard back yet, so. Excuse me. Okay, so there's just one. I'm just going to go back over. It is super pretty. I'm not going to lie about that. That is super pretty. So I'm going to go in with, I have, I'll have a martini. It's very close to the other shade here. Either that or I just did not get enough. Here we go. So I'm also going to mention that my mirror has finally shipped from Jeffree Star and believe it or not guys the Star Ranch is coming out 9-3 which is this Friday yeah, it is this Friday holy crap I can't believe it's already September um, not only that but they have the cutest little um, yak mirrors and a yak plushie I'm considering getting the yak plushie for my daughter, but I highly doubt I will. It'll be like a hundred bucks for it, so. Okay, so I 
And I do have some water here, so I was going to put some on wet and some on dry. So I'm gonna do the dry one first. I'm gonna maybe do like this eye dry, this eye wet, and we'll see which one is better. So I am gonna go call me on my shell phone. As you can see there, it's gorgeous. So we do have my primer on. That is glamorous, wow. I was going to do that one wet. I sometimes wonder about myself. So we'll just, so we just dip that in a bit of water. I'm just going to put some, oh, boy, don't that make a difference? Can you see the difference? I know I can get up nice and close. Makes it a darker, darker color. Okay. So. Okay, so I'm going to go in with Beach, please. Let's see if I can get this one right and do one dry and one wet so you guys can see. So tomorrow if I come on camera and I have sparkles all over my face, we'll at least know why. So I'm going to leave this on for a couple hours, but I do, I won't be keeping it on for, for all night just because I don't want to have too much on this side of my face. So yeah. Okay, guys. I'm actually just going to go in with this without brush. So there, I just did wet that a little bit. Do you see that shimmer? Back you up. Okay. Okay, so that turned out a lot better than I thought it would. A lot better. It's not the pink, but it is a super, super, super pretty color. I'm actually going to go in with this Don't Be Shellfish, and it's a yellow with maybe a green in there. I don't know if you guys can see that. It's kind of like this color right here. I don't know if you guys can see that. but So I'm going to go in with just a little brush here. I just want to... So I'm going to take my green brush here and I'm just going to kind of pull it over. Okay, so I'm actually going to take my one of my flat defining brushes here. <clears throat> I'm going to go in with See You Later. Okay, 
so I'm going to go in with this long time no see. It's a peachy coral color and I'm just going to, I think actually this would have looked really good with the pink. I really wish I could have tried the pink today, but I'm going to put off putting the pink on for another day, another look. Um, I just had to try this color here and it is so far my favorite color, but that green really, really pops in the middle. Um, I'm going to take O Ship here and I'm just going to feels like this high look could be could use all of the colors Something very simple and so not my color and it's very glitzy. Okay, so I'm actually going to go and do my mascara. Okay guys, I even put on lashes for you. So I did put some green eyeliner underneath from ColourPop just to kind of give it that extra oomph. I think I got these lashes on the best but maybe Maybe I don't. It doesn't matter. They're not staying on that long, really. Um, but yeah. I don't know. These lashes are crazy. Okay, so... Um, I have to give this a couple more tries before I actually give a full review on it. But the green is beautiful. If you're not a green person, this palette will definitely suit you. Um, I did put on the, where did I put it, oh yes I did, the Coca-Cola from Morphe, um, all the feels. I felt like it was a better color than the muted color that I did have on before. Um, I did use my Daltan Lash Remedy for my lashes. Uh, we'll also say I used the Jeffree Star Concealer with the Marc Jacobs Foundation extra shot. Um, I did use the NYX for the contouring um, as well as the highlight. I did use some of the highlight. I did use, oh yes, my Jaclyn Cosmetics for the blush and a little bit of the Sigma um, with the Sigma for the highlighter, which I don't know if it really is showing, but I think that the eyes are enough. Um, I did use the ColourPop for ColourPop for my eyebrows as well. Um, I can see something on my face. I also used uh, the Tatcha to set and the Jeffree Star as well to set the although I don't think this is sorry the Holy Mist is a setting powder I did a uh, setting spray but I did use and I use the Tatcha as well um, and my shirt is full of sparkles so as long as you're okay with getting a little sparkly in the process this palette is definitely for you the greens are so gorgeous like they're so memorizing Oh, it's amazing. Um, but would I spend $48 on this palette? Unfortunately not, especially with one of the, um, the shades broke, not once but twice. Um, and while I can understand that transit can be a little hard, that's when you, you know, you buckle up and you extra wrap it or you stand behind your products. As well as the grease stain. The grease stain is something I'm not too thrilled with, but I understand that it's part of the... the um, the formula, I guess, is what I'm saying. I know it's not going to hurt me, and I can wear it, and it's not an issue. But, I mean, if you're going to spend that much, or if you're going to charge that much for it, at least stand behind your products and offer your customer a new palette. Um, unless everyone else is getting one like that. Now, I did read some of the reviews, and they were all absolutely amazing. And maybe I, like I said, maybe this is just a one-off. I don't know. I haven't looked that much into it because I wanted to form my own opinion on this. Um... I will say that 
I am looking forward to using that pink shade. Um, I did put a little bit of water on my hand and then put, pressed it in. I made sure my hands were obviously clean. So I'm interested to see if if it's just, you know, during transit, it, like, you know, the, um, the product became unstable because maybe some of the water evaporated out of it and um, then it dried into a powdery. And so that'll be interesting to try and see. Um, so now I do, I did buy these singles as well from, uh, my friend there. So here are some of the shades here. So there's quad one. Now they're all shimmers. So I would just grab another, um, palette for, for the mattes. So then I also bought, or yeah, I also got these shades as well. Um, this orange is the one that I have here in my hand. I'm really interested in trying this. So this will be palette one and this will be palette two. So if you'd like to see, you know, one of these two next. I also was given this beautiful, what shade? I think this is Glacier shade as well. So I don't have it because that's, they can only fit four and four. So there's also, um, I also got the DC Born to Make It History, is that? No, um, yeah. I thought this was something else, but maybe not. So this came in the Tread Mo Trend Mood Box, and she did uh, offer it to me, so I did snap it up. This is the one I really wanted to try today, but I thought I'd just try this. I've already tried DC Cosmetics, and I absolutely love them. So um, I'm thinking this is the palette that I want to do next, but I want to ask you guys and get your, your opinion on it. Now, I'm pretty sure I've had this palette before, and um, I did win this one. So... Um, Yes, they're beautiful shades, but they're just not mine. So um, maybe I'll do a giveaway with this one. And I knew, know we still have, yeah, the Barbie one to do a giveaway with. And I think there was another one. I can't remember. But anyway, um, yeah, so I think I'm going to uh, do a giveaway with this one let me know what you think in the comments below um, unless you want to see another palette you can absolutely vote in another palette that you'd like to see me do if I have it I can do it um, I'm going to just grab this one here so this one was another pastel one I got um, and I'm not gonna lie I think this is worth more more the money than this one here um, there's still some shades that I have to play with. I gotta get into that blue. I'm trying to open this up here, but now they are very different colors. I will say that the these ones are more duo and duo combs and whatnot. So there they are there. Um, oops, I think a just big chunk just fell out. Okay, so um, yeah, so I guess that's it, guys. Thank you guys so much for watching. I am. So so thrilled that you checked this video out and if you aren't already and make sure you become a subscriber I am doing a couple giveaways I will have the Juvia I have another palette that I'm uh, planning on doing a giveaway with and as well as maybe some skincare that I do have here probably be from last the last few boxes only because I'm out of work and I don't I'm not getting paid by YouTube so I mean I still have to get my 4,000 hours in and I'm about I'm 2,400 hours, so we're getting there. Um, but yeah, if you guys can go ahead and help me out by sharing the video, that would be really, really great. Suggest to your friends that they join, because they have a chance to win. Now, I am drawing the name for the Jeffree Star uh, stuff. It comes with the um, Star palette, if there's enough interest in it, uh, the Star Ranch palette. It comes with the um, bag from Cremated, the Cremated palette, and lip gloss, as well as a few other things. You can go back and watch that video. I'll post it at the end of it. Anyway, guys, I hope you guys have a great day, and please, please don't forget to give the video a like, give it a share, and make sure you're subscribed.